Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be doing a reading for those of you who are celibate waiting on your true romantic soulmate to come in who you are compatible with so you can have a intentional monogamous relationship. Um, I was guided to do this type of reading. So before we get into the messages i want to invite you all to book your personal session with me at www.divinelotustarot.com so after you go ahead and book your personal private session with me i also want to invite you all to go and support and follow my social media accounts and you can find all of the information that i am describing to you below this video all right so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into this spread, okay? Like I said, this is for those of you where um, you have been celibate, okay? And you've been focusing on intentionally just preparing yourself to come into a union, okay, of some sort. Whether it's a real, uh, actual marriage or just a very serious exclusive commitment between you and another individual who shares the similar principles, values, and things of that nature when it comes to being totally dedicated, devoted, and exclusive and intentional with each other, okay? So, the first position we're looking at is why have you chosen to be celibate, okay? So, we have the Tower card coming up. I do see for some of you, you have come out of serious relationships. Some of you may have been married, okay? Um, but some of you could have just been in very long-term relationships, um, I'm hearing sweetheart. Some of you could have been with individuals you have been with since like, like they could have been your sweetheart. So whatever that implies to you, this could be a childhood sweetheart, like way back to like in the neighborhood you grew up with this person, or this could be uh, elementary, middle school, high school, college, but I'm, I'm getting a very youthful energy for some of you in a sense of a relationship that you've been with someone for a very long time. So the fact that that relationship you know dissolved um i feel like that kind of catapulted you into your celibate journey okay if it wasn't like i said specifically a marriage then it was a very significant relationship that you had with another individual that may have been long term is what i'm getting for a lot of you but i do feel like you were very devastated um by the separation that occurred between you and this individual and um i feel like this relationship was very significant um i do feel like whatever this relationship was it, it did come in and it shifted your world and it changed you in a lot of ways um to the point like i said for some of you this definitely has been the catalyst to help you get put on the celibate journey okay as well as maybe the primary reason why you decided to you know go on this celibate journey okay so what i'm also seeing just further clarifying this energy is that for some of you you came to the clear conscious decision to be celibate for some of you because you've dealt with um people who have betrayed you you've dealt with people who have cheated on you you've dealt with people who have lied to you okay so um i feel like you've dealt with manipulation all right so for some of you, I do feel like you don't have children, okay? So this could be those of you who you may not have children yet, and you may want to be very, like, conscious with who you procreate with as well, too. So this is also um, another reason, um, another significant reason why you are choosing to be celibate, because you don't want to just procreate with anybody. And then it's also the fact that, like I said, I'm, I'm picking up separation energy again. So also the fact that you have went through... Um, you went through, <laughs> you went through some type of separation, okay? So I feel like that has made you also just kind of be in an energy where it's like, it shifted your world. It probably just was a, 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 a eye-opening situation that you experienced. It awakened you in some sense that has changed your concept of what you value in intimate relationships and how you want to um move forward and the standards like i said the standards the principles the values the morals that you want to hold yourself to as well as what you want to 
um, have as far as someone who shares that same type of energy, okay? So I feel like, once again, whatever occurred in the relationship that really maybe shifted your world, it helped you to get on the path for you to choose to be celibate because I feel like it, it kind of seems like it was meant for you to be very conscious and start being conscious of the partners you were dealing with, you know, the people coming into your life, who you're entertaining, who you're giving your time, your energy to, and really realizing that, you know, for you specifically, it does matter who you actually end up procreating with. Now, for the instance that maybe some of you already have children, I feel like as well too, maybe you have realized that some of the partners that you've been dealing with are not individuals that if you could go back knowing what you know now, you maybe would not have dealt with these type of individuals. So now I feel like you're being way more conscious, you know, to make sure moving forward that if you're going to be in an intimate relationship with someone, then it's going to be someone who you actually could see yourself having a family with or wanting to at least have children with this person, okay? So I feel like this is the main reasons why you all have chose to be celibate. Now, next, we're going to take a look at what are you looking for in a partner? So we got the five of pentacles, which is pretty interesting. OK, so maybe for some of you, you kind of feel like an outcast. Maybe you feel like an alien. Maybe you've been rejected. OK, so further clarifying that it's just giving me energy as well, too. Like you may want someone who can like relate to like the things that you've been through, which is pretty interesting. You want someone who understands what it feels like to go through certain types of hardships because you, and, and, and not only who understand it, but they are able to um, not become bitter by it and that it makes them like want to love even more. It's kind of what I'm getting. Like, it's almost like the type of partner you want is someone who's going to be able to either share similar stories to you, like, of um, hardships that they've been through, or they're going to be someone who's very compassionate and tolerant and loving and nurturing for the fact that you have experienced so many setbacks or hardships or that understand that you need love. So you, you may um, look for a partner that is very loving. Like you, you may want someone who just loves on you so much because you may feel like you've never got love from anyone in your life. You may feel like, you know, growing up, you never got the type of love you wanted. You may feel like you never had people who you could really um, relate to or who really illustrated back to you, like maybe the sentiments or the loyalty um, that you've had for them. I don't feel like this is only just, you know, contained to love and romance. I feel like this is like involving all sectors of your life, okay? It's almost giving me the energy of like, you want someone who is has been like battle wounded or like tested, okay? Because I feel like you want someone where you know the love is going to deepen with this individual. So you could also want someone as well too who's either been through the trenches. You could also want someone who's going who would stand withstand the test of time to go through the trenches with you. Like you really want someone like where it says through through everything. You know how when individuals are getting married, that verse that they say. I don't like to say that verse because I feel like through health and wealth. You know what I'm saying? Through eternity. You know, that's kind of how I like to speak and fashion my words. So, but if, if you know what I'm talking about when, when it comes to individuals getting married, you know, it says through through this and this until do us part. That, that verse. Well, that's what I feel like you all are desiring. Now, for those of you who are currently engaging with an individual and wanting to know is this individual a compatible soulmate that you desire i do feel like there is a lot of potential with whoever you may be engaging with so whoever comes to mind who you're engaging with okay i feel like this there is a, 
significant um, potential for you. I mean, there's going to be work that you need to put in. There's need. There's going to need to be effort on both of your sides is what I'm getting. But I do see that the two of you are not on the same page in regards to where the two of you stand, okay? Um, I do feel like somebody in this connection wants to take things more slowly. And then there's another individual in this connection who has already made up their mind about like what they want to do. So I feel like there's a dynamic here where you need to maybe find some common ground between the two of you to come to some type of um, reasonable pace that the two of you can move at um, if that is what you desire to continue building with this particular individual because I do see that the two of you you know th this definitely could be something that could work out like I said I do see it's going to take a lot of work um, you're going to have to put the effort in you're, you're going to have to make the effort because there is something about the two of you kind of being different okay there is some type of difference besides the fact that the two of you are at, at different energetic paces about the direction and the speed of you wanting to commit in the relationship so you need to get on pace about that and then there's other differences that i feel like that you'll have to be comfortable with tackling but you have to be comfortable and learn to do this together i feel whatever the differences are between you all um i don't feel like they're major but i do feel um it would just be something that you could grow through. I feel like whatever differences are between the two of you, it, it would just be like a learning experience that the two of you, like a learning curve. Like the two of you would have to learn how to um, work through these, these differences, okay? Okay, so for those of you where you already have children, for some of you, your children could be... Um, intentionally trying to interfere and negatively um, impact this connection with you all is what I'm picking up for others of you it could be the individual who you're dealing with okay their children could be like really um, their children could be very needy very clingy require a lot of attention from this individual the soulmate who you're dealing with so it could be a sense where that could be something where it's the difference or the challenge or you know something that you have to to deal with um for some of you these these, these could be smaller kids this these could be younger kids or a younger child so it could be this individual may have to really um allocate their time um because this person could be putting their children um first in certain situations so it could be that for some of you this is just a sense of this person has responsibilities and duties so if you don't have children and this person has children then that's something that you have to decide like is that something that you can deal with can you work through this can you grow through this and then in another instance for some of you this person has adult children i'm, I'm blatantly getting adult children so this person has adult children and these adult children are um they're kind of immature okay if we're going to be honest these these adult children are immature and they like they're they don't like the fact of sharing their uh, parents with someone else so if and then i'm getting separation energy so if this person has went through a separation or a divorce it could be you know the kids feeling some type of way um for the fact that the parents have separated and not maybe taking this in the best way and not maybe acting out because they're not handling the separation of the parents um, positively okay so that might be something that you might have to um, decide if that's something that you know you're going to be tolerant and work through or just speak with your uh, speak with this individual about you know um, And just let, let that individual know where, where, how you feel about that. And then in another instance, for some of you, this is a situation where it comes to children. There is uh, a different pace of the time frames that the two of you want to have children. So someone could be, you know, wanting to have children way sooner. And someone could be wanting to wait and take their time to have children. So 
like I said, there, there's different like speed levels of the pace of the relationship that some of you are going to need to really um, find some type of mutual agreement with is what I'm picking up or compromise or cooperate in some type of way or you're going to have to learn how to cooperate um, with being having to share your time of your of this individual if you continue to engage with this person moving forward you know learning how to cooperate with this individual's children that they already have okay but I don't want to make it all on you if you are the one who does not have kids and this individual has kids this person also would need to um, you know make some effort and let you know that you are a priority as well too so it's not just all on you to just be you know so tolerantly lenient compromising and accepting especially if you know this individual has kids who are intentionally trying to um, cause <laughs> issues um, for the fact that they don't want to share their their parent with you but this this person who you're engaging with you know they also need to make it clear and make it known to you that they're interested in you and that they're going to make time for you because I, I also see them you know like I said prioritizing prioritizing their children okay so in the instance where that applies to you I just feel like yes it is up to you um, if you decide to continue to engage with this individual depending on the circumstances that you're dealing with as well as it's up to this individual as well too to also prove to you that you know they know how to successfully be able to handle um, having a relationship as well as balancing you know being in a relationship and making time for you as well as making time for their children and appeasing you know both of you okay for those of you who are still looking forward <laughs> to a soulmate coming towards you as far as what is going on with this person we do have someone who is coming in towards you okay so there's a brand new individual a brand new energy coming towards you this person is single they're ready to mingle they're ready to settle down um i do see really good energy around this person this person knows what they want um this person is this person's ready to have like a family okay but this person has a lot of loving energy around them yeah this person is ready for marriage yeah this this person is going to come in like very loving very um open with their emotions very um like this person is ready is what i'm saying like this person is ready so for those of you who are still looking forward to someone coming towards you, you have someone coming with some very beautiful energy. And I feel like this person might remind you of someone, but I, I, I do feel like there is an energy where the two of you might have a very, um, you might feel really close to this person right away. Um, yeah, you might feel really close to this person. Like, like you've known this person already. Like, I feel like you might feel at ease to like let your guards down um with this individual i feel this person is going to be very attractive to you um this person definitely is going to restore some type of bliss in your like life like i feel like this person will like exhilarate you um maybe in ways that you've either never been exhilarated before or just that unlike you've been exhilarated in a while but yeah this person is definitely someone um that like you're gonna know exactly who this person is they're gonna know exactly who you are and i feel like the two of you are gonna like your emotional reservoirs are going to be so positively like overflowing for each other right away like the this person you're gonna be on the same page with this individual like you're gonna you're going to be moving at the same pace so the two of you are going to want to do the same things at the same time like i feel like the two of you are very emotionally compatible emotionally harmonious emotionally balanced the two of you are going to emotionally fulfill each other and i feel like the two of you are going to both look at each other as somebody that you want to settle down with and if you're looking forward to having kids then the two of you are going to look like you're you're going to feel like very comfortable with this person right away to like move forward in that direction with this person whoever this person is that for those of you who are waiting for the soulmate to come towards you you're going to feel very at home and comfortable with this individual 
very very okay so uh, those are all the messages i have for you beautiful individuals i hope this was helpful and i look forward to doing this topic and style of reading moving forward i will be honest i was a little bit like oh my goodness why am i being guided to do this but it wasn't as scary <laughs> as i thought it was going to be and just moving forward i just want to invite you all to book your personal session with me www.divinelivestarot.com be blessed